Yeah, yeah, thank you. And um, a word of consolation to Martha. Not only women are marginalized here, but as well lawyers, as you can see. Um, yeah, I can, speak, I can speak up if you want, but you might regret it afterwards. <laughs> Reiner, Reiner said in the beginning that this is a discussion where rational people become emotional. I try to be non-emotional. I hope I won't be irrational. Um, as you can see, I want to put this crisis a little bit in the context to see this is not the first country that is federal or quasi-federal, at least not central, that has similar issues. Um, a result of a comparative analysis, and I, that is the result that you take first, show that many federal systems provide for homogeneity clauses or identity clauses, if you want, with regard to basic constitutional values, such as democracy, human rights, and the rule of law, the respect of supremacy of state law, because we have here a, a decision by the Spanish Constitutional Court that has to be respected, according to the central state, and territorial integrity. Requirements for the enforcement, we have heard the number 155, the Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution before, are often vague, but nevertheless we find them in most of the quasi-federal constitutions in one way or the other. Commentators agree that since the criteria are so vague, the decision is largely political. One historic example, the US Supreme Court decided already in 1869 in Texas versus White that unilateral secession is unconstitutional. One of the key cases here is a Canadian case, and I don't say this because of Jennifer's presence or because it's a beautiful country, but because the, United, the Supreme Court of, or Constitutional Court of Spain has repeatedly referred to this case of Quebec secession, where the, the Canadian Supreme Court said very, very clearly when there was a question about secession by Quebec, there were two questions. One, is it constitutional? And two, can we do it under public international law, in a nutshell? And the Supreme Court of Canada said in a very clear language, three pages, very unlawyerly if you want, the German Constitutional Court probably would have written 400, uh, that democracy is more than a simple majority rule. It has to be understood in the context of constitutional values. A province cannot declare se secession unilaterally because it is part of a constitution that beautiful word, vouch, safe, guarantees, I would say, order and stability. So instead, a region or province that wants to become independent has to negotiate with other participants in the confederation within the existing constitutional framework. And there is a reciprocal duty of discussions to address the legitimate interests. Uh, what would be a requirement or what would be the conditions for a legitimate question or initiative of secession? One is a clear, according to the Canadian Constitutional Court, a clear question in favor of secession and a clear majority vote. Everybody who has seen referenda in some countries and, for example, in the one we, we live in, sees that questions for referenda are not necessarily so easy that you immediately underst understand what is meant. So that was one of the criteria. And a clear majority vote. It made me think of, I think, Benjamin Franklin, who said you shouldn't base big changes on small majorities, something like that. Um, not, there is no right to dictate the terms of a separation to the other parties of the federation, because more people are affected than the one of the province that decides. So. Such an initiative has per se no legal effect. The negotiations must respect the federalism, the rule of law, the rights of individuals and minorities, and democracy in other prov provinces and in the country as a whole. Third uh, slide concerning the Supreme Court decision refers to the situation under public international law, and there the Canadian Supreme Court said the right of self-determination under international law exists, but it has certain requirements. In a nutshell, if a people is completely suppressed in one country or there's a colonial situation, yes, then there is a right of self-determination. But 
Normally it is within the framework of the state, in particular, if the state respects minorities and the government represents the whole of the people and has a principles of equality and, and non-discrimination. Um, how is the situation in the Federal Republic of Germany? Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution, which is in discussion, was drafted according to the model of Article 37, um, to which I will come on the next slide here. First, a very current decision that the Federal Constitutional Court decided in a one-paragraph decision, beginning of this year, the lender are not masters of the Constitution. The secession movements of single lender infringe the constitutional order didn't even accept a constitutional complaint in this respect. If we come later to Article 155 of the Constitution, I have the text here on my slides so that we can see I'm going to stop here and thank you for your attention already. Thank you.